Hey folks, welcome back to Chapter 5, Mission 2, I think, for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm a little less grumpy about the game today. I'm still grumpy, not too keen on it, but that's okay. So we are at a Jello Alert Level 3 still. It's once again another morning, another he's, I hear him moving around, kind of. Oh. Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. I'm gonna fall off like 20 times. Okay, why do you guys make me do this? So, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, well, we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. Just too many bad things happening at once. Makes it really not fun to play. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the feathers Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I uh, still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. Looking for someone to blame that's not him is what Dutch is doing. The door is stopped. <coughs> You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <coughs> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. Oh, 
shit. I thought we had it. Almost there. That ain't no good. This way. See. Si. Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. You. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! ¡Te lo quiero! All right, we're going to go to, I think, Shoulder repeater carbine, bolt action rifle, but there's a shotgun on my back. Okay, I guess that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of annoying. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. I don't know. I'm really not liking Dutch anymore. You're in my w Dutch. Seriously, man. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me. Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof. We will disappear. Maldita guarma. Is algo de tomar? Como sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí. Escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay. You take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. It's lo más bajo de una civilización. Okay, we're coming up now on the door. Dutch is yelling at me to get over here. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? 
That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. You got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> we are nearly there. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. Okay, we're gonna go outside then, folks. All right, we're going. We're out of here. Out of here. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. There we go. Hey, Javier. There we go, so we're taking care of the bad guys. My god, Dutch, you're not good at this. There we go. All right, we're crossing. We're Dad, uh, he'll be fine. I'll get him out of here. You stay here. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. This will give us a chance to get. The yep. See, we're kicking some ass, guys. There we go, much better. <gasps> Are we going right into another one? All right, now, we did what you asked. It's like I said. Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will, 
but you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here. I'm a little disappointed by this because um, it really, this should have been a different DLC or a different game because they're just, now they're cramming in a bunch of stuff about the island, which might have been cool. Might have been really cool if they did it as their own. But no, they're just doing it this way. We're not gonna go anymore today. I will see you next time and until then, take care.